This is a brief adaptation from the book Wallach Street for Kids. This is chapter one or part one. This book is by Dr. Joel Wallach and Dr. Malan. Hi, my name is Jeremy from Team Alive One. Nice to meet you. Hopefully this brief video will put you in a good mood like this happy little fellow right here. Open your eyes up a little bit to how things work around us and of course give you something to think about. Now as employees we work for other people they decide how we're going to do our mustache, what uniforms we're going to wear, where we work, what our position is, how we're going to do our job. And we're pretty much at the whim of them whenever the bell rings, we're to come running to save the day, so to speak, as employees. This book is really about how to become the boss and how to, like this fellow, say, I quit and not to ever have to go looking for a job again. So we're going to talk about how money works in the world around us. First thing that kind of showed up was a principle of barter or trade. Barter instead of cash was a system where you traded goods, like this picture here where the fish is being traded for the grain. This would be an example of barter. Before money or cash came along, which this is just paper currency, we had rocks, shiny rocks that may be used as, as uh, currency. At one time, seashells were used as currency. People also traded food for currency and believe it or not at one time human beings were even used as a form of currency in, in the slave trade. Um, we have different commodities that kind of developed uh, gold, and silver, jewels was a commodity. We had a system of IOU or credit money that showed up in the world. Um, this is where you buy something promise to pay later. You go into debt and uh, write an IOU basically with a credit card you promise to to pay back your funny money later to the person that you owe. Um, this fiat currency then, of course, developed, and um, this is a, a um, currency that most around the world is, is, is not on the gold standard, um, which the dollar was originally represented 1 20th of an ounce of gold. Now, banks developed as a place for people to store their gold. In 1789, just 13 years after the Declaration of Independence, Article 1, Section 8 of the United States Constitution gave the Congress the right to coin or to mint money. In 1863, just 75 later, years later, the U.S. Congress enacted the National Bank Act, which effectively outlawed private banking competition. The use of the word dollar was still legally used at this time to to mean uh, one twentieth of an ounce of gold. The National Bank Act developed not long after that and um, on December 23rd 1913 the Federal Reserve Act came about. Now this is an interesting quote. Let me issue and control a nation's money and I care not who writes the laws. This is a nice quote from Mr. Rothschilds. Now the gold standard we were taken off of later, with, and, and most people in the United States know that. Uh, this gave us our fiat currency, which is our dollar is rapidly, rapidly being deva devalued in the world right now. Um, and this is really, really what many people believe the Federal Reserve Act was all about. Now, with our money, we have another system that, of course, develops where the government wants to get a piece of it. We call this taxes. Now, taxes are monies paid to a city, county, state, and federal governments. They're withheld from employees' paychecks or collected at the point of sale as sales taxes. They're directly paid quarterly by companies or homeowners. Taxes are collected by various levels of government to pay police protection, fire departments, the mail man, obviously. Here we go again with this guy. Then we have the school system that is, is also another system. It all gets divvied up and sent to, to the right places depending on which government agency, if you're in county, city, state taxes. And again, this is really about how we can kind of break free from the system of being an employee and learn how to save money on our taxes by being a, a uh, business owner and telling our boss we quit and, it, and enjoying all the benefits of owning our own business. Thank you for joining me for part one. We'll be finishing the whole book out. Again, this is Jeremy from Team Alive One at Hotmail.com is how you can reach us. This is an adaptation from the book Wall Street for Kids by Dr. Joel Wallach and Dr. Malan. And I hope you have a great and blessed day. Thank you very much.